So if you've got VMware ESXi and you've got a Mac, you wanna know how do these things work together? Can you actually SSH to your ESXi host from a Mac? Yes. Yes, you can. If you're familiar with Windows, maybe you're a Windows admin. Let's say, for example, you're a Windows admin. Well, the easiest way to SSH into an ESXi host from a Windows site is to download an application called PuTTY. But what do you do if you're on a Mac? The great thing is built into the Mac is an application that lets you easily SSH and access the back end of your ESXi host. Hey, you doing? My name is Emilio. I love tech and hopefully you do too. I release videos every week on tech. So if you don't want to miss out, why don't you click on that subscription button? Clicking on that bell also notifies you when we are releasing new videos. Oh, and one more small thing. If you love VMware as much as I do, I've got a full length VMware training course on VMware version eight. If you want to become an expert at ESXi, an expert at vCenter and managing all of the VMware product suite there, down below in the video description, I've actually got a link to that training course. So you'll want to check that out if you want to become better and more experienced in managing VMware. Now, what you are going to need is a few things. The first thing, of course, is you need an ESXi host. You need to make sure that you've got one or many ESXi hosts, and then you need a Mac, MacBook laptop, a MacBook desktop, an iMac, a Mac Pro, etc., whatever it may be. But you need to make sure that that Mac can actually access the ESXi host. We're now going to now log in to our Mac, and we're going to show you how to SSH to our ESXi host. So I've logged into my vSphere web client from my Mac. And then once you're logged in, now by the way, this is version 8. Okay, this is running the latest, which is version 8 as of this video. If you're running version 7, version 6, uh, then it's slightly different, but it's sort of the same as well. It's sort of in the same areas, but generally VMware move things around from version to version, but this is done on version 8. So here are all the specs of my VM. I'm going to select Manage. Here is the information. I'm going to select Services. And right over here, I'm going to search for the one that says TSM SSH, or the description here is SSH. You'll see that is currently is stopped. And that's a good thing because we don't want that thing turned on. You can now select start and there it is now running. All right, it is good. You can also make it so that it turns on automatically when your ESXi host starts up, for example, if you need to get into it that way. But we just like to do it manually on and off. Once that's done, good to go. We now need to open up Terminal. Within our Finder, you can go to Terminal in a couple of spots. You can search for it in the spotlight or you can go into Terminal, Utilities, and here is Terminal. With that opened up, you now type in SSH because you want to now connect to the SSH protocol, which is port 22, SSH, and then the username, which is going to be root. That is the, ute, the username that we're going to be using to log into our ESXi host. You can use your own one if you've got root, if you've got others, as long as there's one that has root privileges to be able to access the back end. Then we're going to do an at symbol and then the IP address of your host. Are you sure you want to continue? We want to say yes. And what is the password of my root? There you have it. I also recommend that once you finish playing around with the SSH, with the backend, with the CLI of your ESXi host, good practice to go and turn off SSH when you're not using it. It's not good practice leaving SSH always on. And you'll notice that when you do have it on, there is a little warning message that does appear when you're logging into the graphical user interface into vSphere, letting you know that it's turned on. So it's always good to disable that when you're not using it. It will just enhance the security a little bit if you don't have SSH turned on. So there you have it. Do the like, comment, subscribe thing. As I said, I've got a full length course on VMware if you want to go check that out and become an expert and learn a lot more. But hey, stay tuned for the next video where we continue talking about all things tech. We'll talk to you then.